to the channel, y'all. In this quick video, we're gonna work this Meguiar's 3 in 1 wax here with the homemade applicator that I made right here. And we're just trying different stuff, just trying to see exactly how tough these sponges are gonna hold up pretty good through a lot of working with them and abuse. So, uh, this one I made, you know, it's the cutout sponge here that I made come from Dollar Tree. It's got my product on it already here. And uh, we're going to see what it'll do. Here we go. Just kind of blot it around up there. Work this stuff on in. And uh, let's get it. Just that Meguiar's 3 in 1 is a good product too, y'all. Add a whole lot of gloss. I'm just trying to put these sponges to the test here. See how much abuse will they take. No, we're just working it. With different products. <laughs> uh, just putting it through a lot of abuse. This thing is hold up pretty good. You can see some of the oxidation still trying to come off a little bit. Just working it this sponge like i said you get them from dollar tree and i took them and just cut them up in a section of fours you can cut them up to an eights you can even cut them in half like this and make them thinner like right now i can cut this sponge in half and have another half you know for doing something else for doing interior or something but uh, i left it this size here All right, y'all, so we can go ahead on whip this off. Y'all know that three in the one wax, but this does remove swirls, water spots, and blemishes. Increase depth of gloss and color and clarity. Provides long-lasting protection. And it's just kind of showing you a before and after picture here. You know, this is going to be the oxidized side right here. And this is the side after you finish working with it. Now you can use this by hand, like I'm doing, or you can reuse it with a rotary or a DA, you know, depends on how you want to use it. I guess a lot of time depends on how bad a shape your paint is too, you know, so. <sighs> Let's take it off, man. Let's get it. And this paint got some oxidous, oxidized surfaces on it, so, you know, it is what it is, older paint. Anyway, so it's gonna have some some flaws issues on the paint because the paint is is approximately this thing is about twenty about twenty six years old. It's a ninety seven, so this thing's pretty old. Might not look it, but it's a nineteen ninety seven. So. <laughs> paint been around the block and back a couple times <laughs> but try to take care of what I, what best I can you know I ain't planning on painting or nothing use what it is all right as you guys see it does put some amazing gloss here Looks pretty good. Yeah. Kind of can see the gloss on. Huh? Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's got a few little scrapes and scars in it, but get the gloss up in here. And like I said, you know, it's an older vehicle because it's more prone to scratches and scrapes and stuff. All right. So, yeah, let's try this sponge, man. See how it's going to hold up. All right, hit that subscribe. 
Till next time, I'm out. Peace.